This is the Kershaw Collateral, and uh, there's a story behind this, and uh, I'm going to review it right now. Sit tight. Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I'm not cranking out videos as much as I'd like to, but... Picked up this bad boy the other day, and if you've never seen this, this is the Kershaw Collateral. And there's a story behind this knife with me, and there's a story behind this knife in general. So, uh, Kershaw Collateral was actually dropped in 2019, uh, and if you can see as you look at it, it has pretty much like a ZT design. Obviously they're the same company. ZT is kind of like the higher end version of Kershaw knives. But so this launched in 2019 in SHOT Show and then it went away. No one could find it. No one get a hold of it. 2020 happened. Uh, if you're not familiar with what happened in 2020, it's called fucking COVID. Uh, <laughs> and it kind of messed up, I think, production and hype for this knife because it's relatively thin, it's spring-loaded, it's D2 steel, not a huge fan of D2 steel, however, will hold an edge longer, just don't bring it on a boat. And I find it oddly ironic that Kershaw's promo video for this is all done in the rain with a D2 knife. Anyway, overall length is eight inches. Uh, they're calling this, a reverse Tonto. I don't buy it for one minute. Um, comment down below on what blade type you think this is, but it is thin, weighs about 4.3 ounces. Uh, really great detent in it. You can't pull it out. Spring assisted, like I mentioned. And one of the things that they did on this knife that they did in the prototype that they did not do in production and why I was so excited for the knife was this used to be hidden uh the thumb stud was hidden and it kind of flipped up a little bit now it's permanently there still a great knife looks strikingly similar to the kaiser alien and this is just my opinion but if you put these two knives side to side disregard the blades but overall size weight uh obviously there's a lanyard hold on the kershaw right here i'm not really a big fan of putting a lanyard hold right here uh it depends how deep your pockets are, right? Like I, I've never put a lanyard on a knife, although sometimes I wish I would have because I lost it. But Kaiser Alien up here, I've done a review on that. I'll link it up below, up above and below. Hey, you know what? As above as shall so be below or however it is. But I've had a couple of weeks with this thing and I absolutely love it. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I love spring-loaded knives. Uh, just the kick is just phenomenal on them. Uh, the D2 steel, this came sharp right out of the box, shaved half my arm hair off, you know, as any dumb moron would do when they get a knife. But the kick is phenomenal. I love the carbon fiber inlays. The handle is titanium, cost around $80. Uh, I pre-ordered this, and here's a little story for you. I pre-ordered this back in January. Although I didn't think I pre-ordered it, I thought I bought it. And then I sent a picture to Out West with Chris, and he was just like... Uh, you realize you pre-ordered that knife. I was like, how's that possible? Da, da, da. So anyway, I kept bugging Kershaw about when this knife was going to come out. And uh, essentially what ended up happening was like, it came out. Uh, you should have it. If you don't have it already, it came out last month. And so I called Blade HQ and I was like, hey, why haven't you sent this? And they're like, oh, there was a problem with your credit card. And I'm like, oh, crap, forgot that I canceled that credit card that I initially bought it in January with because someone got a hold of it. Anyway, well, that's it. So that's kind of a funny story. This is the idiocy that I am. Kershaw Collateral. There is a decent pocket clip on it. Not a huge fan. Uh, it is a deep carry pocket clip, which I do like. Uh, look, when I throw a knife into my pocket, it very rarely goes on the outside of the jean or the pant or the short to kind of catch it. I literally just throw it in my pocket. So super thin, super lightweight, great steel, great edge on it. Great for everyday use. This is now my EDC for at least the next month. So take a look at it. I'm going to link it down below, probably to Blade HQ, probably to Amazon. Amazon's an affiliate. Feel free to use it. Thanks for watching these things. 
the uh, gotta break it in. Kershaw collateral. It's a beautiful knife. Talk to you soon. Bye.